What would a racetrack look like if two builders placed every other piece? Thanks to the Team Kiss mod, I was able to find out. Myself and Maki were able to join the same level editor and without communicating, build a map. Um, you start them or me? Sure, I'll, I'll place a start. All right, uh, you go from there. Good luck. You do. All right, I am muted. We're both muted, so we can't hear each other. Uh, okay, he's placing a fan. So most of the point is that we don't know what the other person is working on or placing. So we're only unmuting to tell the other person when we're done. We're placing every other piece. Uh, haven't talked about the map at all. Uh, your turn. You're up. So neither of us know what either of us are thinking here. Uh, how strong is this fan? 710, okay. Uh, I don't have much experience with fans, so I don't really know how fast that's going to make us. Clear to go. Ooh, a little sausage. Let's see. Can we get a little turn or a little something in here? Just go... I guess we'll do... Is there a ramp? Can I go uphill somehow? Ah, we'll do one of these. Right hand turn, why not? So the one issue we saw in testing was if I hop in validation, when I get out, I no longer see the track. I have to leave and reconnect with the mod. So it's still a very early stage mod. So kind of to be expected, I suppose. Nice, we are going uphill. It's kind of what I wanted. You're up. Hmm, how do we want to continue this? Oh, I didn't even see this folder. I'm such a good builder. We're going to be coming down here, staying on the inside Up this. I almost want to make this a jump. Yeah, I'll, I'll do like another uphill turn. We'll do a tight turn and maybe Maki can turn that into a jump. Like this. And flip it. Oh. Like that. And take the borders and support off. See what he does with that. So I'm not sure what Maki's going to be thinking with this. In my mind, we're going to be coming inside here, can cut across on this straightaway, and hit this as a jump, basically. I don't know. And, like, just continue going straight that way. I don't know if Maki's going to want to make this an actual turn. We'll see. I also have no idea how fast we're going right now. So that's... I should probably hop in the... Uh, Validation. Okay, Maki's thinking the same thing I am about the jump. Your turn. Let's see. I should... I'm going to hop in validation and just figure out how fast we're going, roughly, because that's something I don't know. Oh, we can kind of way overshoot that. Hmm. It's a bit jank. All right, uh, it's your turn. Yep. All right, good luck. All right, we're back. So the validation just completely broke the level for me. So we, I won't be validating. I don't know how fast we're going to be going. Maki said, you know what? I won't validate either. So we're both just going to be completely blind this entire time. Uh, it might add a little to it. So let's see. We're coming off that. We had a decent amount of speed, if I remember correctly, but it wasn't super fast. What do we want to do here? Probably need some checkpoints, but I don't want to waste a turn making checkpoints. Let's do something like this. Yeah, that'll be good. All right, go for it. Because we should be landing ideally down the middle and then driving down to the left side. So you should be able to stay full traction this whole way, in theory. Um, again, when I did do the one test run, I kind of overjumped this landing a decent bit. So this could be tough. You might need a little brake tech on this uphill. Uh, let's see what Maki wants to put down. You're up. Okay, that is roughly what I was expecting. Um, what do I want to do from here is the question. Could turn this into some weird uphill. What would that even look like? Except I'd then rotate it to make a weird uphill. Would that even work? I don't even know if that would work. Nah, I don't even think that would work. I don't know what to do from here. This is what I was expecting. I don't know why I'm so shocked by it. 
I could just flatten it out. Let's just do that. Flatten it out, start anew, and then we'll go from there. So let's delete that stuff. And yeah, we'll start anew from here. Uh, we didn't talk about checkpoints. I think we'll probably just go through at the end placing checkpoints, but not too concerned about those right now. You're up. Okay. I was not expecting this. Um, I mean, the obvious route is to place something track piece going this way kind of make a right hand turn even with it we could do that I'm tempted to make something where you go right off this tip and just keep going forward what happens if I did something like this could do that yeah I think that's the least jank thing to do I think that's the only thing I really could do without making it super jank, unless Maki wanted to get into a wall ride here, like come on this right side wall ride here, and I don't know what the thought process was behind that piece. If I'm being honest, I think that piece was to see what I would do. And alright, a booster. Let's see how fast that booster is and then we'll make a decision okay i see it getting whiter which is faster um very your turn white is anything over 150 150 to 200 so it's 172 force so not super high force we could make a jump out of it we could make a weird janky jump like this oh wait that wouldn't even but never mind i mean we could do something like that with just a different piece I mean, I'm tempted to do this piece and have the right side be a jump, or at least in theory. Let's see, what else can we do? Let's get some wall rides in. Why not? Do we throw wall rides or do this half pipe? Maybe the half pipe. I think the half pipe is a little more versatile. So, a lot of options from here. Could just continue on down the half pipe, figure something out from there. Could jump off of it in this diagonal direction. Could jump off the very end, try and get some extra height going straight that way. Uh, I think there's a lot of options with this piece. I wouldn't be that surprised either if Maki did one of these like 180s or like corner pieces to make a bowl jump at the end here. That could be interesting. Oh my. Oh, okay. Oh my, what are we doing? Okay. We're off grid. Vertex snapping mod in use. Go at it, chief. Okay. Uh, I feel like I really only have one option here is to go up and over this, uh, this section. Do we, the question is, do we want to make it a jump? Or do we want some air time here? Uh, I think we do. I think we do want some airtime. I mean, this up here is the obvious play. Could I do a different piece? So I'm definitely placing a piece up here on the right like lip of this. The question is, what do I want to place there? Black ground makes the most sense, but where's the fun in that? Could I do something like this? Now that could be pretty dreadful. Yep, I think uh, I think we got it. I think that's the plan. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to work at all. Again, I have no idea the speeds we're going to have. We have the booster here, but it's two force, so that's not very strong. Let's say we landed this like 70, I think, was something like that. By the time we make the turn, get up this hill, probably be pretty slow, 50 or something. Two force, maybe guys to 100. I'm basically Let's make making it numbers fun, up. Shall we? You're up. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're starting an ice bobsled side diagonally. I don't think I've ever seen that, so. How do we want to think about this? We're going to land here, want to be 
Probably gonna land on the outside. That'd be the easiest landing. So we're gonna be wanna be outside, outside. Let's say we go in here, catch this right edge. We could get some tubes. I wanna make like an uphill, but I don't even know if that would work. Do I wanna just make a turn? That feels not fun. Have something like this. What would this look like? Oh, right. It's diagonal. I forgot it was diagonal. Oh, no. That makes it so much worse. Okay. I feel like we need an actual pipe here. Because it's diagonal. Do I have vertex snapping on? I think I turned it off. So, this could be tricky to line up. That looks mostly lined up to me. Uh, oh, that's the wrong number. There we go. So I don't even know what Maki's thinking here because there's a lot of different ways you can enter this. So, well, all right. If you think about this, you're not going to want to enter this left side because then you're just going to smash straight into the wall. So you kind of have to come in high at the start here where you transfer onto the ice into low to catch the outer wall. But you could angle it pretty differently to exit the tube pretty differently. And without validation runs, I don't know how we're going to be entering that tube. Vertex snapping makes that so much easier. Your move. Let's see. I want something like... Something like this, even. Just to get another... How jank would that be at the bottom? What does this even look like? Maybe have this be like a downhill though? Oh, that doesn't even line up. No, no, that, no, that's not my, I didn't place that. I need tubes, I wasn't thinking. All right, let's just get out of this tube nonsense with the jump. We'll make Maki line the jump up. Please put something back on grid because I don't have vertex snapping. Yeah, that's not awful. All right, we'll paint it ice and move on. All right, your move. I think this is going to be fairly jank here. Yes. I have no idea of our speed. Oh, I, th point. I thought I was muted. I didn't even realize. Oh, you're not. I also don't have vertex snapping, so maybe we, we go back on grid. Oh, yeah. Uh... <laughs> I was about to do that since <laughs> you put the jump. <laughs> yeah, I did that on purpose. Oh, all right. These, yeah, these don't line up perfectly, and neither does over here. But they're as close as I'm getting it. They should be fine. All right, looks like we're back on grid. Oh. Whatever it is, we'll be back on grid. I think I'll place a booster almost no matter what. We're finally getting a checkpoint. You're up. I feel like I should add another checkpoint over here, but whatever. We'll do that afterward, because we definitely need a checkpoint over there. Ah, uh, we for sure need a booster here. So I'm just going to do that. We're not even on gr- Whatever, we're close enough to grid. Uh, he doesn't have any barriers there. Let's up the force a bit. Five force 150 should be fine, right? Yeah. Okay, we're 23 pieces in. I don't know how long we want to make this. I think one of us is just eventually going to place a finish. Okay, another booster. Keeping it clean. You're up. One force, 160. Just get rid of booster RNG. Sure. What do we have? We have some inverted sausage, some half pipe, some weird jumps. What don't we have? Decisions, decisions. Let's do, where is it? Let's do one of, where's what I'm looking for? Is it in here? It is. Let's do one of these. Uh, all right up three. How big is that? Let's do two just in case. 
I think three is fine, but can't go wrong with two. No, no, no. We'll do three. Corkscrew. This is what I want. Okay. All right. That's what I wanted. A nice corkscrew. I'm assuming we're going to do a loop, but there's a few options. Could jump off either side. Obviously, left would be easier to jump off of. This is going to be one of the worst levels anyone's ever made. Neither of us have done a single test run. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's going on up there? Okay. This isn't going to work. Is this going to work? I don't know Good what to, to do with this. Um, Go up. Can we actually get into a wall right there? I don't know that we can. Okay, we're going to be going 160-ish. About 150. No, we, we should be going 160 at the end of those. Um, so we're going to be going 160. Into here, right side. Can we really get into a wall ride like that? That just seems so... Tough. What if I did another one of these? Flipped it. No, unflipped it. Nope, not what I want. Not what I want at all. Do I want this to be like a jump, maybe? Up here. I still just am shocked. That that works. Let's do... So I don't trust that we can actually do a wall right there. Let's do one of these. And have this basically be a jump. Properties thing is getting in my way, so... That. Two down. A couple forward. How's that look? That looks... Fantastic. Right off the middle here. Oh yeah, that perfect. We we gotta wrap this track up pretty quick here. See what Maki puts down. I'm thinking finish. Cause I'm already concerned that what we made is is gonna be an issue. Wait. You think it's you think it's good to call it? I mean getting a finish soon? I was I was saying I, I think I'm gonna see what you place, but I'm thinking finish. Yeah. Was me what too. I said. <laughs> if, you wanna, I'm not even sure. <laughs> if you wanna place the finish here, I'm good with it. Um Let's do like one more each. Alright. My one more might be a checkpoint over here. We need we need checkpoints. Where else would we need one? Yes. Yeah, we'll figure it out later. We can always add checkpoints later. That's the track pieces are the main pieces. Oh, I see. I like it. Okay, we're just gonna be floating here. I like it. I think I'm just gonna place a finish ring at the end of this. All right. So let's see. Max fall speed is zero. Okay. Yeah. And force twenty. So we don't fall at all. So, I'm just going to place the finish, I guess, right? I think just, yeah, finish. Call it here. Alright, I just added a finish. That's Looks all good. I did. I added, the, like, two checkpoints. Yeah, to, I, I, was, I was saying we'll go back and add checkpoints later, because it definitely needs some. <laughs> I right. don't know how possible this track is. <laughs> I was... <laughs> I got nervous after your... Uh, Can you send... I think... Yeah, <laughs> I didn't know what to do with your thing at the you end can... here. You wanna test? Can you get into... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you send me the .z you... file? Um, can you get into a wall ride from that? I was wondering. What? From, like, your last piece before the feather blocks that you added. The red one? Yeah, the like upward red one. Yeah. Okay. I think you can. All right, I'm giving I'm it a try. I'm not sure if the ice is possible. That uh, yeah, we can do it. Give it a try. <laughs> Give it a test run. Wait, 
Why was that jump so smooth? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> why is this why is this going so well? Oh, I over jumped. I have, I have a little frame issues, I guess, because I have like the server running as well as recording. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean the track is 30 pieces. It's not that. <laughs> yeah, it's just. Oh, okay. Okay, that's a difficult one you built. The red? The red to the... Yeah. The thing... Okay, the red I think from I'll the get thing, a time yeah. here. I'm at the end. Oh, that actually works out pretty well. Yeah, I should definitely be getting the time here. Nice. Alright, um... Oh, oops. It was... I gotta <laughs> it do that It actually again. works. It's kind of smooth, except for that one part that I didn't realize how fast we were gonna be going there. I guess it is right after the booster, but I was like, it's a low force booster. We're probably not going too quick. I thought that we were going like 80 at this point. I didn't even think we were going to be going that fast. Uh, I mean, I'm having trouble making the, the jump. Yeah, you Once gotta go frames. early on it. Not horrible. Like, it's somewhat reasonable. <laughs> it's actually pretty decent. Yeah, it's really just For that one part. For how janky the oh. mod is. We added some decoration to the track, and then I got this clean run that would be our author time. This was a fun run record, so let me know what you liked, didn't liked. I'd love to do more of these in the future, so give me some feedback, and I'll see you in the next one.